Hello, I'm Stefano Kukraki and I'm the Program Director of the Master in Industrial Ecology. It's a great time now to join Industrial Ecology. Now, why is that? What's new in the world? Amongst many other things, one thing that's important to know now is that the planet is shrinking. Literally, extreme weather is shrinking the planet. There's less and less places in the world that that are, that are not affected by changes in our climate system. Think of uh, places that are affected by flood, water shortage, droughts, etc. We need to assess the full system and assess the trade-off across these various components of the planet system and consider a human component there as well. Human development and, and Earth and the system Earth have close dependencies. We take, with our metabolisms, with society's metabolism, we have substantial impact on the planet. We produce and consume goods that need material and energy to be produced and then for us to consume them. We create impact related to depletion of resources, pollution, disturbance, and uh, if you think of uh, the emissions related to the, uh, all, uh, all of the, the systems that, that we need to support our metabolism, the impact is substantial, and that's why the impact is so large on a global scale. Dependencies are related to resources. I was saying, I was sh I'm showing you some examples, in this case, phosphorus, extraction of crude oil, coal mining, and you can see that these examples are across the globe. Welcome to the Anthropocene. Many people say that we are the impact that we have put, that we have caused on, on the planet is so big that we can call this specific geological year there are there is a basis, a scientific basis to call it the Anthropocene. So big is our impact on the Earth system. And this impact um, whether you like the definition of Anthropocene or not can be translated or can be exemplified by a number of phenomena. These are physical, so the, this great ramping up and acceleration of emissions and temperature and the, and the impacts on ocean and uh, coastal zones, but also social population dynamics, the GDP, the economic dimension of the system and the use of resources as well. Let's try again to look from a different perspective, though, on the war. There's the one side of the society's metabolism, but there's more. Let's try again. There's also the Sustainable Development Goals. Countries that come together and have signed a complex agenda, an integrated agenda of uh, goals towards 2050 and 2030 already. These goals need to balance the economic aspects of society, of the, with the societal aspects and also having a clear focus on the environment as well. All of these have to be balanced. There's also clear trends and interesting phenomena that are driving change that we didn't think was possible before. And this phenomena has also contributed to new policy making or at least pressure to change policy making across the world. And some of that has been tra translated in clear action. There's also other trends that are interesting to study, and this is, for instance, the cost of renewable energies that's going down, together with the population dynamics, talking about population again, stabilizing because of increased education. And increased education has also implications of other systems. Think about the, the food system. There's positive correlation between food consumption, good food consumption, nutritious food consumption, and dietary and better dietary choices when people are more educated. And these are just some examples of trends. There's many more of those, which means that there's also a good trajectory as possible to get out of this system in which the product is shrinking and that's taking us through the Anthropocene into a, into a so-called hothouse earth in which we have, we have, we are pa passing the limits, the planetary boundaries and thresholds of the planet and entering uncharted territories. We can still have the room to stabilize the planet if we act fast. To act fast we need people that are trained to tackle weaker problems. We need people that are trained to think 
about these interactions between complex systems. Then it's, this is exactly why it's a great time to study industrial ecology. You want to look at the full picture and be able to take all these problems, but you also want to contribute to solve them, and you want to design solutions for sustainability problems while you do that. This is uh, why this program is especially suited for you, because uh, we learn about how the Earth system works from the perspective of the natural sciences, how society works from a social science perspective, how technology works, taking the engineering science perspective. So you get both the analysis side of things when we look at society's metabolism in relation to sustainability problems, also the design of sustainable solutions from the social technical perspective. So that you have both the industrial component, so the societal component, with the relationship with the planet. And you can describe these according to these three pillars of industrial ecology, the technology pillar, society, and ecology and the environment. And then at the heart, there's the innovation power of industrial ecologists. You will learn to analyze sustainability problems and, and having knowledge of systems, energy systems, the climate systems, transition theory and governance. But well, you also get skills trained into methods as well, like life cycle assessment or material flow analysis. Also learn about things like agent-based mod modeling. You will also get training towards getting a more open-minded attitude, working with peers independently, and be an academically critical, which is key component to be critical towards potential changes and solution for the future. We also uniquely mix the strength of two top universities, Leiden University from the natural sciences perspective and, and the looks into the methods and the, the evaluation of the system, and there's history in the industrial ecology community with two technical the University of Delft and the great global um, expertise in engineering science and sciences and social sciences. We have top lecturers at both universities. They're active also in the global industrial ecology community. And uh, Leiden will also host the next industrial ecology conference in 2021, which will be a global event. How will you learn? You will learn into interdisciplinary working groups with interactive lectures and innovative teaching formats. You have you will work with fellow students we have, which have the most diverse backgrounds. They come from different nationalities and cultures. And as much as possible, you will meet these fellow students in person. This is an overview of our curriculum. And some of these courses look into society's metabolism and the Earth system and the connection between those. Some touch on the so socio-technical system. But there's also space for you to find your electives and to leverage your previous experience in the bachelor and to strengthen it with uh, some master level courses. And of course, there's project work, interdisciplinary project groups, and your final thesis. Our alumni work in the most diverse places, and there is a growing interest in the skills that you will get and the knowledge that you will have at the end of this program. And you can see here just a list of the places where our alumni work. From a perspective of students, you can see Peter, one of our alumni, the importance of industrial ecologies today is that everyone, companies, cities, seems to be moving in a sustainable direction. If you don't have the perspective of industrial ecologies, then you're not considering the full picture. And that's why it's important to consider that full picture to get that training. If you are interested in registering, take the and look at this website. Go to the education study programs on the Leiden University website and select industrial ecology and you will get much more information there. If you want even more information, you can visit our website, be a student for a day, can also possible remotely, or send an email to our study advisor, Paula and Kiki. It would be great if you would come and help us build a sustainable future. It's also fun to work with an international group of people that are motivated to, to make a difference in the globe. Thank you, and maybe see you in September.